everyone, this is Michael Cohen, the Tech Rabbi, and today I'm going to teach you how to create interactive diagrams in Google Slides in five minutes or less. So here we go. One of the really great things about Google Slides, of course, is the ability to create a slide deck that's collaborative and live collaboration. But at the end of the day, it's still being used as a linear presentation process. And today I want to show you how you can mix it up and allow students to link, or even you as a teacher, link slides to other slides so that you can bounce around in a real non-linear process that gives a space for interactivity and personalized experience when students are learning about different topics using interactive diagrams. So let's get started. So what we use here is we use this polyline tool to draw with. And I love its ability to be a little bit more defined than the free draw tool, but at least give you the flexibility to create an organic shape around some component of a diagram or a picture. So when we click on that polyline tool, we actually can trace out whatever we decide, and once we've completed this, we're able to click on the link and then link this to a slide in our slide deck. And so what you see here is I've already done that on the right ventricle, the right atrium, aorta, etc. And so what you're able to do is you're able to make it invisible. And what that allows you to do is then put that overlay on top of an object and then make it clickable. And so what you see here in this example is the right ventricle links to slide number six. So when I go to slide number six, I see here that when I click on that, my image didn't change its format except for this new piece of information, and that is going to look like a pop-up for the user. And so here we have a very simple definition of the function of the right ventricle. And here, just to note, this is designed for a third grade classroom that's being introduced to the organs, muscles, and bones of the human body for the first time. And so when you click on that, you can actually see that that is hyperlinked to number seven on the slide deck. And here, an additional pop-up is seen so that the students can not just learn about the function of a piece on the diagram, but can develop the vocabulary repertoire as well. So now I need to get back to that home base, that home slide, slide number two. So what do I do? You actually have to do something that I think is a little creative, a little bit more of a hack, because I don't like, per se, when you have to click on a singular home button. Sometimes I just want them to click anywhere and then get back to it. And so here I would actually create a text box and say, click anywhere to return to the main diagram. But what I like is that I created a square that covers the entire screen and then I link this to the home page, which is slide number two, that then sends me back there. So we're going to play this right now and we're going to see how things that are clickable have a hand. Things that are not clickable, because I didn't integrate that interactivity yet, are not clickable. So here I click on right ventricle, and it pops up here, telling me the right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Oh, I'm a third grader, and I don't know what that means. So now I click, and I see that this is now a definition, and then it tells me to click anywhere to get back to that slide too. So that is interactive designs in Google Slide in five minutes. Thanks for watching and please share this out with your colleagues and let them too learn about how to use interactive diagrams in Google Slides in their classroom. Have a great day.